I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is Black Cat Hat. We're going to take three fingers from the bottom and we're going to put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across to the other side of our paper. This is going to be our foreground. Starting over here on the left, curve line up, in, out, down, off the page. Right about here, curve line up, down, out, down, off the page. These are overlaps. Doesn't matter really how you draw them. Curve line in, out, down, off the page. Curve line up, down, out, down, off the page. And if you can fit one more, Curve line in, down, out, down, off the page. Now come back over here and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line up, curved line over, curved line down, connect. Next one, curved line up, down, connect. Curved line up, over, down, connect. Curved line up down, curve line down, connect, curve line up, over, down, connect. Right over here we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line, connect, one more, wavy, wavy line, connect. Now we come back and we draw a curve line down off the page. Curve line, curve line, curve line down off the page. Next one. Curve line down, 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 off the page. Curve line down, 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 one more, down off the page. Curve line down, 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 off the page. Curve line down, 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 off the page. In between these spaces, we're just going to draw curve line up, over, down, up, connect. These are fillers. Curve line down, up, down, up, connect. Right in between, curve line down, up, connect, curve line down, up, connect, curve line down, up, connect. I think we'll leave that one alone. So this is our foreground. Now, come over here on the left and let's put one finger, put a dot. From that dot, we're going to draw a curve line out curve line down, leave it floating, come back over here to the left and we're just going to go zigzag, 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 leave it floating, continue curve line over, up, connect. Right on top we're just going to draw a straight line out, curve line, straight line back, and connect. Inside, one, two, three curved lines, come up to the top, one, two curved lines. Come back over here, in the center we're going to draw one, two, three straight lines, and now we're just going to draw curved line up, connect. Through your paper, Go. I mean your drawing, go ahead, this is one of those times where you can draw through your lines. Maybe one more. Okay, now come all the way over here, put a dot. From the dot 
we're just going to draw a curved line down, leave it floating. Come back to the dot, curve line out, leave it floating. Come back over here, we're just going to draw a little curve line up, in, straight line over, back, and connect. Come right about here, we're just going to draw a curve line up and out, curve line in, leave it floating, come right about here and draw a curve line down, down, connect. Come over here on the back side and we're just going to draw a curve line down, leave it floating, little curve line down, little curve line up, back, connect. Come inside, right about here, just draw a curve line, curve line, leave it floating, and right about here, wavy, wavy, wavy line, up, connect, little tiny curved line right there, straight line, curved line, up, connect, little straight line inside. This is our middle ground, okay? Come way over here on the left and we're just gonna draw a slightly wavy, wavy line out, wavy, wavy line back off the page, curve line, connect. Come over here on the right, wavy, wavy line out, back, and connect. Okay, I think that's all. One more little curved line right here. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to use my gray crayon and I'm going to lightly loop-de-loop -loop around my foreground spaces with gray. Up, and, up on the top, over, then in my background, I'm going to use my gray, and I'm going to color in this space and this space, okay? Next, I take my yellow, I color in this part, or I should say this space and this space, this space up here, and this whole space down here. Okay? Next, I take my brown and I color in this space. Now, you will do a way better job than me coloring. I'm trying to do the best I can. Alright. Next, I take my black. Now don't go crazy with your black. You want to color this space in black. And you want to color this space black. But I don't want you to color so dark that all of a sudden you cannot see that this is an eye and that's a nose and this is a chest. So take your time. Color it in black. Just don't go crazy and color it too dark. Then you lose your picture. You lose your drawing. So we'll color this all black. I loop de loop, but that makes it a little bit of a lighter black automatically. Okay? Then I'm going to take my yellow green and color in these little spaces down in my foreground all the way across. I'm going to take my regular green and color in this space all the way across. And I'm going to take my orange and color in all of these spaces. Now this is kind of involved, so if you want to, 
you can do step one, which is the drawing, one session, and then step two, you can do the coloring. And you can even divide up that into sessions. You could color in your foreground first, color in your middle ground second, and color in your background third. So you could do three separate coloring sessions. Okay? So now what's left? This is why I like these fat crayons. What is left is my background, and I'm just going to take my blue-green, and I'm just going to put straight lines following what I just drew all the way across. And if you want to, the closer you put your lines together, the more solid color you end up with. So I'm going to try and put mine together as much as I can so that I have more of a solid blue-green background. And like I said, you will do this way better than me. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my black cat hat all colored in with my foreground, my middle ground, and my background. Okay, bye-bye.